welcome to the next part of the tutorial series. In this video I will show you how you can easily animate a car that drives along our path. And I decided to use the off-road uh, rig generator for that uh, because it makes our life so much easier. It requires no baking, we can tweak everything very easy. It's the only thing you would have to pay for in this course. And it's five dollars, believe me, it's totally worth it. Um, we will also use a free car for that you can get on Blender Kit. So you also would have to install the Blender Kit add-on. First, we have to prepare our car for the rig generator. And if you have the Blender Kit add-on installed, then you can search here for the car. In our case, it's Volkswagen. Um, we select this one. Um, you can take whatever car you want, but we will make it with this one. Um, and now, as you can see, the problem is we have way too much objects. We only want to have two parts. So one part should be the main body of the car. And the other part should be a wheel because we um, need only one wheel because the rig generator will automatically duplicate the wheels. So um, first we have to uh, unparent the objects from the empty. So we select all objects and then press Alt P and click on clear and keep transformation um, all right then we can delete the empty and now we select all main parts of the object um this not yep okay then we select the first object and <clears throat> press Ctrl J to join the geometry and here we can delete this one and this one because as I said we only need one tire and here we will join these two objects uh, also together with Ctrl J then we go into the edit mode and click on toggle x-ray so that we can select all vertices also the hidden vertices um, and we select only this tire and click on delete and uh, vertices so we have only this wheel right then we can uncheck toggle x-ray and now we also have to go um, to object and set the origin to the geometry and for the body and also for the tire set origin um, all right then here we change the name to body and this one to wheel. We um, can rename this to body. And we make a new collection called wheel because we need the two objects in different uh, collections. All right. This one we can call car. And perfect. Now you have prepared everything and we can go back to our main blend file. Now it's time to append our car. So we go to file, append, car, collection and car. So um, actually I wanted to use the main curve for the car animation but I found out that it caused some problems with the other geometry nodes so we have to duplicate this again and say duplicate linked 
right click and then we can also uh, use a copy transforms modifier and select a path then we can call this name car animation all right now we also have to append our rig generator so we go to the file and then we only want the node tree so we select this one and here we can delete the collision objects and also the annotations all right then we select our car animation curve and add a new geometry nodes modifier and select the blender as a rig generator okay um now we select our wheels and the body okay um, the car and the wheels are uh, wrong rotated so first i would set everything to zero here and then we rotate uh, the body 90 degrees and apply the scale near the, the rotation and also for the wheels. Okay, um, then the car is also way too big. Uh, the problem is that we have scaled our curves, which uh, wasn't the best decision in my life. But anyways, then we have to... Uh, we have to rescale the uh, uh, car so we can make the car a bit smaller to something like 0.5 um, okay then we also have to apply the scale for both objects all right Um now we go to the car animation curve and here we have to change the values uh, 6.35 you can play with them a bit it depends on the car I found it out earlier so point 0.175 um, 0.18 um okay okay mm, suspension with 0 0.75 0 0.1 uh the radius is 0 0.015 all right then this is the wiggle, um, so um, it means how much the car will move. Um, so we will make this a little bit less. Mm. Here we also have to select our ground terrain. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> this looks a bit weird, but it's just because it's really at the beginning of the curve and that can cause some problems. So we just go a bit further. All right. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> the car tries to drift, what doesn't make much sense here. So we have set the drift uh, slider to zero. 
Okay. Uh, obviously, also the fence is uh, pretty big. So we also can rescale it. Um, but for now, we can uh, deactivate the fence. And here we also have the stones, uh, which we would have to delete on the path. But first of all, we animate it. So here we say um, 10, and then we can insert a keyframe. And here, okay, say something like 100 and another keyframe. Then we set the interpolation mode uh, to linear so that the car moves uh, in the same speed. Okay, then, um, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty weird, but it's only because the car animation curve goes uh, to the ground. So we just make it a bit higher, like four meters, and it's still, okay, here, because it's the end, and it has to uh, be still higher. What? Okay, the problem was that we used a copy transforms modifier, and that's why we couldn't change the height of the curve. Um, so instead, we have to use a child of modifier and select the path. And now we can also change the height. All right. Um, now we can test the animation. Okay, <laughs> it rotates a bit too much. So we would go to the modifiers tab and uh, yes, and we have to decrease the roll on curves value to something like maybe 0.1. Okay, mm, a bit too less, 0.25. Okay. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Um, the uh, rocks uh, are in the way, so we also have to use the uh, proximity effect layer for the rocks um, that uh, we made earlier, proximity, so that we don't have rocks on the path. All right, this looks good. Now, we activate our fence again, here and here. Then we make this a bit smaller and open another window. Select the geometry node editor. And then we select our fence. And here we have to select the geometry node modifier. And I would say, um, we decrease it to 0.1 and here, oh no, 0.12. And then what is good? Yeah, 70, I guess, or 68. Yeah, 68. So we will do the changes also on the IV. 68 and point one two, and here we go. Yep, 
this looks not bad. Then we can close everything here. All right. And I would say it's time for a next render. And I will see you soon. So here we go. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, the biggest problem was that we didn't apply the scaling on the original curve. And so you could maybe get problems if you hadn't applied it. Um, you can do it afterwards. Uh, you just have to go to the uh, car animation curve and then press Control A and scale. Um, but then as you can see, uh, the problem is that the animation curve isn't linked anymore to our path curve. And so you would have to make all curves new or you have to change the car animation curve manually then. And also if you apply it, you have to resize it. But I think it also should work um, with our little scaled version. And yeah, just that you know. Um, so we have finished the chapter and then I will see you in the last chapter, hopefully.